In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Carl Tomeo and how he is able to score the ball over in the Philippines. He is a fantastic basketball player, and I think he's got some really great moves and a great mindset that a lot of young players all over the world could adapt. Let's get down, let's check him out. So, here he is over on this side of the court to start, and what we're going to see is a quick pass over to the wing where he currently is. Now, something that he knows and is very good at doing is seeing the defender chasing out to defend him. When you see that, what you need to do is attack the basket right away. You do not want to wait, because by waiting here, you're going to allow him to set up his defense so that you cannot drive. So, by having his momentum still bring him towards you, you can then attack him and then you can attack about the basket now what this post player did was extremely smart and I really want you to focus on him as well especially if you're a post player so he is currently posting up this could have been a pass down low however when Carl Tomeo does drive the ball we see this post player pop out towards the free throw line and this is very smart because because his main defender and the help side defender is going to come down and try and stop that drive and when they do that he could have passed out to this player but instead we see Carl go in and score at the basket nobody's going to stop him around the basket now in this next clip this is something that every player can do as well find the open spot on the court and get to it so that you can then either score or get yourself an assist and what I mean by this is here he has a team that's going and running a 3-2 zone and because they're running a 3-2 zone he's able to cut down maybe they were playing man or this guy thought they were playing man and he was in help or not necessarily deep help location but he should have been in a better spot he should have been down here defending that cut but he wasn't paying attention that ball gets through and then he's able to pass off to Carl Tomeo who was able to finish with the layup so altogether very good on multiple players on this team especially Carl Tomeo over here he can score a ton around the basket and that's what we see here so here is Carl Tomeo right here and I want you to see something that is very smart he chases rebounds he's hungry to get every single rebound on the defensive side and offensive side he can get some easy baskets if you're looking to up you're scoring average by two, four, six, or even eight points per game. Chase every offensive rebound. Get every offensive rebound. Get some nice close shots, and that can up your average huge. Plus, seeing offensive rebounds makes coaches very happy. So we see Carl Tomeo again out on the point. We have a player who's driving down the middle of the key, and something that he does right here on this shot is very good. So when he catches that ball, he then hops onto two feet. This now allows him to use either foot as a pivot foot, but also he can shoot from there as well on two feet. However, something else that he does too, he pauses just for that second. Even though he's looking at that rim, that pause makes that defender there worried more about him than the actually Carl Tomeo himself. And because of that, he's able to do that pause and get a wide open, lick my fingers, test the win three point shot. And then we see on this clip here, another great transition where he's able to make that pass over to a very good player and able to finish. And here's another great offensive rebound. He gets that offensive rebound, hungry to go up. He doesn't wait. He goes straight up. See that? He gets that ball, lands, goes straight back up. He doesn't bring it down to his hips. He brings it down to his chest, and then he goes straight back up quickly. If you're looking to, again, up your average, these are the things that you're going to want to do. So this is actually a really good backdoor cut, backdoor screen. So what we see here is... A player on from this post setting a screen up for Carl Tomeo who is going to be then using that back screen and cutting back door. Great alley-oop. Too bad he couldn't finish with a dunk, but fantastic, fantastic play. Did I mention that he's very good in the low post? Watch this. Jab, jab again, drive, spin, and then up for the shot. Fantastic move. I love it. This is the type of stuff that I do in game. So quick jab, dribbles. When you do that jab, you want to dribble before you lift up that back foot. He's a 
bit early on lifting the back foot, but the referee's never caught it. He's able to spin around, one, two, and then he's able to go up for your shot. When you spin and go one, two, you have to know you need to go up. There is no faking involved unless your defender is already in the air, and I mean off the off the ground, not on his toes, in the air. Then you can go for the fake, but if he's not out of the or uh, into the air yet go straight up for your shot and you can be very successful in the low post by only really having that one move so this next post move did i say that he was good in the post but watch this this is very good post move hook and then gets the nice basket this is something that so many young players are afraid to do this is something that should not be called a foul Basically, great clear out, and then when he then hits that player with his shoulder, we do see that it could be an offensive foul because his shoulder is past his foot. But if he brings his foot right there, this is a 100% legal move. He hooks the elbow in, which is a fantastic move. That's what you want to do. And then you can clear out and get your shot. Referee's never called it. I'm not going to call it. And then one more clip. He gets that offensive rebound straight back up. You want to do it quick. You want to do it fast. You don't want to be waiting there forever to get the, your shot off of an offensive rebound. You do not want your defense to set up. You want to get straight back up quickly. I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next time.